Hello, PCSSD families. We're going to do a Schoology overview today so that you can know what you're going to be looking at come Monday, uh, whether you're at home. And then this way, too, the students who are in school will kind of have an idea of what they will be seeing. So I have logged in. This is my student's Chromebook. I have logged into this account. And if you've done this before today, you probably, if you clicked on the Schoology app, there's not been anything. And that is due to that our school calendar is set up to start on Monday. So whenever you click right now, you might not see anything because um, those are not active courses. I, uh, for purposes of this video, I have turned on so you can see upcoming courses. And um, after the video, I'm going to turn that off until Sunday evening at 7 p.m. That way that teachers have time to get their courses the way they want uh, before I make them live. So let's go into um, so in here to the PCSSE portal. You can see different apps here. Uh, the portal is designed to host all these different uh, apps that our students use and also save passwords so it's easier for login. Um, the email one will be important, and that might be something also to keep checking to make sure that the students or that the parents have not gotten emails. Sorry, that the students have not gotten emails from the teachers. All right, so I'm going to click on Schoology right now. And the first thing that comes up here is my, after it does the magic, is the recent activity. So this will start um, becoming more like a a feed for students so they'll be able to see exactly what they uh, have going on. Now I can click on courses for my son now, but the thing is these are all upcoming courses. So in eSchool um, system, they have courses set up for first, second nine weeks and so on. So some of these courses may not be the one that they'll have uh, for this first semester. So whenever uh, on Monday, I'll turn off the show um, uh, show upcoming courses and that way it will only be the courses that your student will have for this school semester. Um, so something to look at these whenever you're doing this, this right here is fifth period. The dashes after tell you what period it is. So you can see I have two fifth period classes, third, second, first, and so on. Actually, so on this course page, only 12 icons will show. I can go over here to my courses on the right and I can reorder these. So that might be something important for um, to do once things get going. So I can say, okay, first it is pre-AP math. So I'm just going to hold that and drag it to the top because I know that's going to be important. And then I can go into my second period. My second period class is going to be keyboarding. So I'm going to hold that and I'm going to drag it to the top and so on. So that way I have first period, second period, and I can get those in order of that. Elementary schools will look a little bit different, and so, um, but they also can be reordered. So that's something that might want to do. I'm going to take a second and look in uh, my student's seventh period class. So that is this one, World History. And in this class, the teacher has posted the meeting link. So we will meet every Monday through Friday, if I'm not in physical class with them, at 3.05 p.m. And this is the, the link that I click. So I just click on it. It opens it in another window. In this case, it opens inside. So they might change that. I can see right here, this is beginning of the year material. And so the teacher will post in there. And though the teachers are still working on act, updating their Schoology courses. So that's why we're giving them till 7 p.m. to at least be able to post it where um, students can see those courses. Uh, groups are something that uh, if they're in basketball, things like that, later they may have groups that can add on. And then eventually their grades from their gradebook will also be here as well. This will just give you a general overview of what Schoology will look like. So Monday morning, you can click on the Schoology app and then follow their schedule. So um, again, for elementary, I know some of those parents or some of those teachers may have gone ahead and emailed or they may be putting something in back into this portal here. They may be sending an email through that. So please make sure and check that as well.